guys, it's Hattie here, and I have a very exciting video. So, I got a new doll, and this is Elizabeth Cole. Um, she has been like one of my, um, oh, I bumped the camera, anyway. She has been one of my like favorite dolls for like ever. Anyway, um, so I finally got one. She's in, I mean, okay condition. She's, she's, has, she has some little rough spots. Like, she's pretty dirty from her previous owner and like, she just needs some help. Um, and her hair needs probably the most help. Um, it's just like up in this random bun right now. But, um, I'm very excited to have an Elizabeth. She has a little bit of staining on her leg. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, my phone keeps going off. Anyway, sorry about that in the background. She's a little bit of blue staining on her foot. Hopefully that'll come off, but if it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's too noticeable. She's the Pleasant Company, Elizabeth. I think they were all Pleasant Company. And she does have her ears pierced. I think all of them did. Not positive on that, but um, I'm just so excited about her. I think she just... I opened her up a while ago, to be honest, but I'm pretty sure she just came just like this. Um, oh, I was like, there's something on her, but it was just lint. Anyway, so what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be, um, first I'm going to be just brushing her hair out with just water just to see how it looks, and then I will have to see if, what I'm going to do with her hair. I feel like there's not really any curl left to her hair. Um, it didn't, like, seem like it. Um, her face, actually, like, her painting is pretty good still. Like, I'm very surprised at how nice her painting is. Like, I mean, her eyebrows are still there. Her eyes still are working perfectly fine. And her limbs are a little loose, so I'm gonna have to tighten them. Her arms are actually very tight. It's just, like, this one leg has some problems. But... So yeah, so just one one leg, which is actually pretty nice. I might tighten both limb or both legs. The arms are perfectly fine though. So anyway, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to brush out her hair. So I took her hair down and I mean it still has some curl to it, but not very much. And it's just very frizzy and her pink curls you can tell are just like yeah, just very frizzy and just like very like in her hair and like you can't really find them very well and I'm gonna just try I know this is I'm gonna have to probably do more than this but I'm just going to take my wire wire wig brush from our generation I love this brush um and then my spare bottle full of water and I'm just going to brush out her hair a little piece by piece and just gonna see how it works I I feel like I'm gonna have to like wash it and stuff as well because it just it needs something else, but yeah, I'm going to just quickly try to do that first. I just got her hair all brushed out and um her hair doesn't look actually too terribly terrible when it's all brushed out it still has a lot of frizz in it so I am for sure going to try to wash her hair and I didn't want to but I might have to straight iron her hair like flat iron it after I wash it um just because of all the frizz and then I'll just have to recurl it because she does have very loose curls um, and then I want to try to get her pin curls back as well, if I can, by all means. Um, I didn't really show to begin with how I, um, brush out the hair. So, um, technically I just spray down a, like, little piece of hair and then start at the very ends 
and work my way up to the scalp. Um, I do this because I don't want to be, like, yanking a knot from way up here all the way down the head. Um, you just work in little sections up the hair. Anyway, um, there's a lot of, like, tutorials out there how to do their hair. Um, so yeah, I just, like, I really think I'm gonna wash her hair just because it just, like, it just needs to be washed. It kind of smells funny and it's just, like... The feeling of her hair isn't that great. <laughs> so, I am going to wrap her in a towel and bring her to the sink and wash her hair. And I will film that also. So, I'm in the bathroom now and I just wrapped her in a towel and clipped it so it wouldn't come undone. And I have her hair in the sink and... Um, I'm going to be using... It doesn't really matter what, like, shampoo and conditioner you use... Um, I'm just using what we have on hand, which is the, um, Herbal Essence Shampoo and Conditioner. It's like rose hips or something. And I thought this one, this one may not be, but one of them was for damaged hair that we had of the Herbal Essence. So, anyway, I don't know if that really makes a difference with the doll's hair or not, but that's what I'm going to be using. So, I'm just going to wash the hair now and like try not to get water up at the scalp I'm calling it a scalp <laughs> um top of the wig I don't know what you'd really I can't think tonight it's pretty late and I probably should wait till morning to make this but I just got the random urge at night so yeah <laughs> So I just got her out of the um, sink and brought her in here. Bathroom, bathroom, not sink. Well, she was in the sink. Anyway. <laughs> and I combed out her hair. So her hair smells like so much better. It's still pretty frizzy at the ends of her hair. So what I'm going to do is while it's still wet, because this is a must what I'm going to do, it has to be wet the hair. I am going to flat iron it. Um, I've got my flat iron warming up. I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay. It's just a, I don't know, an old flat iron. It has the dials and I'm putting it on one of the lowest settings. I think I have it on a five. Um, it's getting hot. Anyway, and I'm just going to quickly sweep over the hair with the flat iron so just like with a little piece let's see just flat iron it um it feels hot so let's see i'm just going to go over her whole head with the flat iron while it's still wet I'm just gonna show you how I did the one pin curl how I'm curling it um, so I found one of her pin curls I can't remember how many she has but I found one of the pieces um, I just kind of put some water on my hand and then go through it like this there it is and then I take my flat iron and just quickly go over it just so flatten it out because I want it all the frizz off of it and then I took a straw one of these like you know just random plastic straws and I cut it about 
there. And I wrapped the um, pin curl just like right around the straw. Like so. Right up to her head and then a bobby pin fits perfectly inside the straw. Like that. And it holds it right in place. And now her pin curl should come out into a kinky little curl. I don't know exactly how the curl will turn out, so I'm just kind of experimenting. But I got most of her hair. I turned off the camera to straighten the rest of her hair because... Oh, let me zoom out. There we go. Um, I turned off the camera to straighten most of her hair because it was just very hard. Anyway, so she has her two pin curls now. And most of her hair is straightened out to how I like it. It's getting very soft and silky. She still has some frizz at the end that in some parts of her hair that I want to try to um, go through again. But I just want to, like, I don't know how this happened, but I had left my spray bottle on my bed. Walked into the other room and walked back and I can't find my spray bottle. So I'm not sure if I carried it with me or not. I'm just like losing my mind tonight. <laughs> anyway, um, so I think I'm just going to finish up straightening her hair and then seeing if I have anything to curl the ends with overnight. And then I will be back if I find something to curl the ends with. And if not, I'm just going to let it air dry and see what it's like tomorrow. So, I'll be back with whatever I do. So, I'm back. I got her hair amazingly straight. It's amazing. Like, the frizz is pretty much all gone. Uh, I had to clip a little bit of, like, long, like, frizz pieces that were just hanging down. But it looks pretty good now. And I think I'm going to just try to twist around and make like really big curls and then I'll try and see what that looks like in the morning and then I'll be back. I'm just gonna like twist um into these little like bun things like this and then clip them and then see how it looks in the morning to see if I can get that loose big curl I want. I don't know how this is gonna work but we'll see so we'll be back in the morning. Good morning! So <laughs> the next day and I led led let her hair stain these little buns and the little pin curly things overnight so we are going to take them out in a minute but first we're gonna wash up her skin I forgot to do this last night so I'm gonna get my magic eraser and we're just going to wash down her whole skin and then dry her off just so to make sure she's perfectly clean So I kind of forgot what I, I used to wash off her skin, um, to tell you. I use a magic eraser and water. That is just the staples of what I use. And if it's a harder job than the magic eraser, sometimes I'll use, like, I think I've used baking soda and water and such. But mostly the magic eraser takes off all of the dirt and like yuckiness that is on the dolls but see she's not too dirty see if it'll focus I was having pain focusing today so I'm just going to wash her down now Now that she's all clean, I'm just going to now slowly take out the, um, curls. <laughs> I really hope they turned out how I wanted them to. So let's just take them out. Okay, so it's like a loose, wavy curls. Let's keep taking out. Her hair smells so good, just let me tell you. Ugh. Okay. It's still a little bit damp up at the top. I guess I could have probably left it in longer. And 
And last one. There we go. So there's her hair. She's got some body and curl to it. Now we're going to... Ooh, I did not want to do that. Okay, now we're going to take out the pin curls. And we're going to slowly take out the little pin curls and see how they worked. I hope they worked. It curled. So it did curl up. Um, not quite like how her pink curls are. Hers are a little bit more loose. Maybe I shouldn't have left them in so long. We'll see what they look like after, like, you know, they, like, loosen up and sit for a while. And after I do her hair. So there's the other one. So it did curl is what I wanted it to do. It curled pretty much the size I wanted to do. This is so cute. Okay. I'm so excited for her hair. So her hair. Wow. Well, I still have it zoomed in. Sorry about that. Um, her hair turned out very nice and curly. And like it's just so pretty. From like what it was to now. It looks almost like a new wick. So I'm going to go get her dress because I don't think I'm going to tighten her leg right now because I realize I do not have the um, stuff to tighten her leg. So I will just tighten it later. She does stand very well and stuff like that. But I'm going to now dress her and then we'll like get the last look of her. So here is Miss Elizabeth looking gorgeous and I just love how her hair turned out. I was very nervous at first when I got this doll because I didn't know if I could manage her hair. And I am just so happy with how it turned out. She does not have really any frizz anymore. It's really shiny and it's just like really pretty. I want to see if I can get like some big curlers to like curl her hair in like big like curls at the bottom. But for now, she looks really cute. I did get her pink curls to somewhat work. Um, I think I'm going to have to recurl them because I want them a little bit looser. And this one didn't turn out too well. But she looks really adorable overall. And I'm just really happy with her. So this is Elizabeth Cole. And she will be joining our doll family. And I'm so excited to make more videos with her. And I'm sure you'll see tons more of her. So thank you all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this like fixing up video. I hope to make a couple more of these. Well, a lot more if I can. I mean, I have to get the dolls. But um, I just like really love fixing up dolls. Anyway, so stay tuned for more videos. And hopefully I'll try to get on a better schedule towards this winter of maybe scheduling to um, upload every certain day not sure what days that will be but you know with school and everything it'll be busy as well but anyway so oh enough with my rambling bye guys